Dragon Ball has never fooled fans about its number one priority. When it comes to characters, Son Goku is the man on top. Dragon Ball Z stressed how important the Saiyan was to Akira Toriyama, and Dragon Ball GT continued that with its trimmed cast. So, if you ever wondered why the Z fighters were shafted in Dragon Ball GT, you can stop. The anime's producer is now explaining why its team made the difficult decision. Thanks to Kazan Shuba, an interview from Kozo Morishita has been translated into English for the first time. The executive was one of the producers who helped oversee Dragon Ball GT way back when, and it was during his chat that Morishita revealed why the Z fighters didn't appear very often. It's because Dragon Ball GT was made so as not to drag out Dragon Ball Z, the producer explained. I suppose it's also because we were too caught up in creating new enemies. I remember working extremely hard thinking of what the enemies would do and what sort of bad people they would be, he continued. Thinking back on the series now, the enemy characters of Dragon Ball GT have certain parts that are based off the enemies from Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. If you have seen Dragon Ball GT then you know the show was rather uneven with its Z fighter screen time. Tian Shinhan only appeared for a few minutes during the Baby and Shadow Dragon sagas in asides. The same can be said for Tetsuo and Yamsha. Of all the Z fighters, Piccolo got the most screen time, but it was not for the greatest reason. During the show's baby saga, Piccolo appears to die for good after he sacrifices himself to save Earth from the Black Star Dragon Balls.